All right, here's a cold process shampoo bar that won't dry out your scalp. I'm using a ton of different oils. You don't have to, I'm only using them because I have them and I'm just experimenting with them. So you'll need your other basic soap stuff, your containers and spatulas and all that. We've talked about this a thousand times. And then we get right into it. You weigh out your water and then you weigh out your lye. The recipe is down below in the description. Add your lye to your water, don't breathe in the fumes, same old, same old. Okay, then weigh out your oils. So this is a 40% super fat because I find high super fat is the key to a cold process shampoo bar. That way it doesn't dry you out. Now for these oils, I'm gonna microwave them and melt them because I'm working with color. So I want it to keep them nice and runny. And then after they're microwaved, I could add in my lye water. And then I use some of the same techniques that I have been with colors where I don't stick blend much anymore because it incorporates air. This gives me a nicer finish. And I tried something new with the essential oils. I mixed them into a clay, which I read online is supposed to help fix the scent. Maybe I wasn't using the right kind of clay, but the clay didn't dissolve into the oil. And if I let it sit, it would just fall out. So it didn't really do anything. Uh, it didn't harm it in any way, but I don't think I would take the effort to do it again. All right, add your oils in and mix it around. Now it's the fun part where we get to do the colors. So I just split the batch in half and I'm gonna do black and blue. I love this activated bamboo charcoal. It's a natural ingredient and gives such a rich, deep black. So I love using that. And then I just use the sky blue mica for the blue side. Again, I'm only using spatulas now because the stick blender is out. I wanna keep a light trace to keep things nice and runny, which comes back to bite me later. So I just poured them back to back. I wanted to try something different and then swirled it in a clockwise direction. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I wouldn't do this technique again because it didn't really give a super nice cut. Now, here's my pitfall. It's a super high, super fat, super subscription. Um, I'm tapping, <laughs> I'm tapping it, tapping it doesn't do anything. It's a really high super fat. And when I do super high super fat, I got a water discount so that it cures faster. This time I didn't because I was doing colors. I wanted to keep it runny. So after four days, it was still too soft to cut, but I'm confident if I let this sit for two weeks, I'm gonna end up with an excellent shampoo bar. But what I'm gonna say is if you're doing a really high super fat because you want a moisturizing bar, make sure you water discount. That way it'll cure in a good amount of time and give you a nice hard bar. If you really wanna do a shampoo bar, go to my other shampoo bar video. I put it in the description. It's my everyday go-to. I've used it for months. I use it on my face. I use it everywhere. I love it. 